Hey guys, today we are going to talk about a few Magic the Gathering cards that have dipped a tiny bit in price and kind of explain what we can learn. Now these cards are generally newer cards, therefore they've been reprinted into Oblivion and beyond, so keep that in mind. So the first card we're going to tackle is not Force of Will, it is the Scarab God at $115. This is not a good buy. The Masterpiece Edition is only this pricey because it still sees standard play. Now, the regular version has fallen off a cliff pretty much. Hour of Devastation, there's not much in it. And it follows the same map that Dragon Maze did where you only had one card of value, Voice of Resurgence, and then everything else was poo. That makes a very, very bad set in my opinion. And I like sets where it's equal value. For instance, Unstable is an interesting set to me and I like the spread because your value can only be, I mean, it can't be like insane, but it also has to be, it's pretty even. Unless you pull a foil land, which is one in a, what's a masterpiece rarity pretty much. So when you look at Scarab God and you look at the Amaket Invocation, you see the giant spike and then the slow trend down. I do not see it going up ever again unless something else is happening that I don't know of. Maybe there's a combo piece or something like that. Mainly because our devastation, the booster boxes are selling for under $70. I believe I saw one on Dave and Adams for like $60, $65, and that's without coupons. Remember, you can always stack coupons. eBay has a $15 off, $75 or more coupon that you can always use. I mean, it's holidays, so everyone has the same coupons. Anyway, uh, back to my issue of Scare of God. It's not very good. Like, it's good, but it's not very good. It's not eternal good. So, five is a lot. Five is a ton. In Legacy, you have Jason Mindscoped at four. You would never play this at five over Jace at four. In ED8s, maybe you play this as your commander or something like that, but it's there's always a spicier commander. So to sell more magic cards, Wizard of the Coast has to create better magic cards or spicier magic cards. So Scarab God won't be the only one like it. I'm almost certain that in the future, we'll get a better version of it. Okay, so here let's talk about the price graph. It used to be $50. Now it is around $33 and falling. And here's the key. I think it hits 25 before it's all said and done. And then after rotation, it goes back down to 15 or maybe 20 at most. Good card, just that it's a good standard card. I don't see it. I know there's some modern decks that play it. My guess, here's a guess, is JC Mindscope that gets unbanned relatively soon. Uh, 2018 would be my guess because Control is non-existent. Uh, control needs a Jace and that would spice up the format, which is kind of boring right now. The Scare of God, definitely a uber sell. Uh, when and the problem with this type of buy is once it hits 50 or 47, there's no room for it to go up. Even if it sees play as a four of in every single deck, the the box sucks. Like the Hour of Devastation as a expected value for the entire set is based on the Scarab God, and it's still not very good in my opinion. So, all right, let's move on to the next card. Oh, okay. Before I move on to the next card... Uh, the next card is one of these, and again, it won't be the one that you think it is. It's Avon Mind Center, where you have a $22 invocation. If you look at some of these, I like the I like Desolation Angel because it is a foil angel, and foil angels, you know, tend to do better. Worship, I wish there was a better picture. I think the original Urza Saga Worship, which also has a if a distant foil, is much more beautiful. Forbid's pretty good. Counterbalance obviously is a big gamble if you believe it's going to be unbanned, which it may not be unbanned, right? Top. Well, I, that is a really annoying deck. Hopefully it's not unbanned. Dive Edict, I mean, Choke. Eh. 
All right, let's talk about Avon Mind Center. A lot of you don't know this, but this card used to be a $10, $20 card as a regular card. Therefore, what happened to it? It got reprinted after being reprinted in a set that was printed into Oblivion. It's over. It is over. So Wizard of Coast has done something I do not agree with, and here's my opinion on it. They have literally reprinted everything into oblivion. They have used all these sets. We have what we have. Modern Masters, then we have we had Eternal Masters, then Modern Masters 2017, now Iconic Masters, and then we're going to 25th Anniversary Masters. We had multiple dual decks, we have Rivals of Ixlon, we had I mean it's just so many reprints. We had the Masterpiece series, which was all reprints, pretty much, and then a few new cards. This is the graph, and this is why you no one will survive. There is not a single modern card, including my Princess Falia, that will survive the reprint onslaught. Would I be surprised to see Falia at 25th anniversary? No. That is the only reason I'm considering still going to GP Houston is to offload all my Falias and Noble Hierarchs. Because I had those, those were my two princesses that I. I love and and it's time to say goodbye because I'm gonna get slaughtered. I know the day is coming and I kind of am delaying it because I kind of want to hold them when the day is coming so that way I have an excuse to buy more, right? But at the same time, I know I'm gonna lose a ton of money should they be reprinted. Oh, back to Future Sight. Tamagoyf is 92.98 in Future Sight. Horizon or Horizon Canopy is 61. Let's talk about what the blank is going on. A lot of things are different nowadays, and one of the big things that you cannot rely on is Future Sight is, what is this, $600, $800 a box? It used to be one of the most expensive boxes because you could pull a Tamagoyf. A Tamagoyf is mean, meaningless right now. I said it, and I'm going to repeat it again. This is no longer the $200 card it always was considered, or at least $150. This is a $92 card. This whole set has been demolished. Absolute um, Chroma's Memorial reprinted. Pack of Negation. I don't know if that's been reprinted or not. Grove of the Burn Willows reprinted. Horizon Canopy reprinted. Tomagorf reprinted every single time they can. Magus of the Moon, I believe that was reprinted. Summoners, I'm pretty sure some of the packs were reprinted. Uh, Coalition and Relic, mm, was that reprinted? I can't remember. But you look at this and it just gross. Like if you look at what Future Sight used to be in terms of value, or, I mean, it's it follows the same model as Tamagoyf. Pretty much everything in this set has lost 50% 50, 50 or more. I am very, very skeptical of old boxes holding value when you can buy a new box and get better cards in it. You get all, you get some old cards, but then you get all the <laughs> valuable ones. So one thing that I will say about Wizards of the Coast, this is just a game. If you view it as a game, not as a finance, not as a business, if you don't own a store, you'll be fine. I really cry for store owners because you know, they're just getting hosed every single day by Wizards of the Coast. And then Unstable, the reprinting Unstable is ridiculous in my opinion. I was watching a Rudy, a Rudy video and I agree with him. It's silly. This is a, a Christmas present for the stores. And without it, they can't survive. And now you're going to punish the customers. You're going to punish the stores because you want to make a little bit of extra money. I mean, come on now. There's greed, and then there's Wizard of the Coast greed. <laughs> anyway, I think what Wizard of the Coast should do is they should start a Patreon. That's the way to do it. Anyway, bye guys.